so it's time for a desk job post uh, MS treatment and uh, still feeling a little run down so we do desk jobs when we'd like that some time ago a good mate of mine um, his father died and as he's cleaning out the house he found uh, his mother's sewing machine he asked me to uh, fix this up for him this is a very belated wedding present for him actually and uh, we have a singer here, which I've apparently got known for doing singers because some of my videos are pretty popular. Now, um, this case can definitely use a clean. We'll sort that out. We're just going to have a look at what we've got here to start with um, and what we're looking at. So I've got a foot pedal. We've got test piece. Got our foot plate. A piece of plastic rod. There's no bobbin in here. Um, it's been sitting for quite some time by the looks. Alright, I think what we're going to do for a start is just give this a general clean up and an inspect and uh, see what it looks like. I just discovered something in this box that's a rarity. I had to laser cut these ages ago. I made a whole set of these. These are the fashion cams. These are like rare as hen's teeth, these things, and it looks like... There's a fairly decent set of them in here. Oh boy. There's a full set of fashion cams in here. <laughs> I am definitely going to uh, make some clones of these. I can laser cut these out of acrylic. But uh, yeah. And there's some plastic bobbins in here. There's some different foot attachments. This is actually a really valuable little box of bits. But those fashion cams, they are really impossible to find, all those extra fashion cams. So, uh, good find. Alright, we're going to try and give this a bit of a clean up. Um, at the very least, with everything that's going on the bottom here. Because it's quite dusty and dirty. And uh, it makes it hard to work when you've got a dirty workspace. But uh, we'll look at this. Um, this mate of mine is actually coming down with his wife. Uh, in the next few days and this has been sitting in my shed for over a year at this point and I even paid like we paid like five grand or something to fly to his wedding with a private charter plane uh, he covered half that cost but uh, I could have taken this with me at the time but I hadn't looked at it okay so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab the um, wheel at the back here give things just a general turn See if stuff generally operates as it should. And I'm watching this mechanism move backwards and forwards. I'm not seeing the bobbin feeder come around, which is interesting. So our tensioner is all intact. That all looks pretty good. We've got, we should be able to unlock this and this is still locked in position. Oh, that's right. This is one of the older style. You've got to push that in to rotate this. I think. That is very stiff. And that has not returned to position. So, definitely some lubrication needed. That's a general switch. So, I think this may have suffered the same fate that a lot of singers do. And the, there's a, a gear down here that uh, is made of plastic and it shears off. You can still get them. Okay, We've got a couple of others down there. There's a felt washer on that one. Yeah, these are usually long screws. Now these we don't need to worry about. They are separate from the foot and the base. Something I haven't seen before. Yeah, disconnect power supply. Yes, we've definitely done that. Oh, now this one has a belt drive. That's interesting. The belt is a little slack. So, that is our bobbin drive, I'm pretty sure. So, if we just wind things around a bit, I can see here the bobbin drive is not driving this belt. Well, now it is. Something's kind of loose in here. So, that cam is engaging. But this is only intermittently driving. That feels like there's a stripped gear. 
All right, in here there's a QC sticker for quality tester number 130, I believe. <laughs> 1913. That's the uh, that's the copyright date on it anyway. Now we need to find out where that uh, service gear or where that gear is. So we're going to take the service hatch off here and have a look. And this is a Singer model 478. We're just learning. Gone are the days when they used like three mil plate. This stuff. There's our belt drive for that. So. We need to find out where that shaft comes up, which I think it comes up straight in the bottom here. And uh, there's usually an exposed gear you can see. Ah, I've just seen something fall out. <laughs> that would be our culprit. And that's a very familiar shape of bevel gear. So something has just fallen out the bottom. Okay, we've found our uh, bevel gear up the top here. This is the one that's going to drive the broken bits of that bevel gear. So what we're looking for is just under it. And I'm seeing some broken bits of gear tooth in there. So that is definitely our culprit. This thing is very dry of lubrication. Um, has not had a service in a long time and it definitely feels that way. Incidentally, this is where your fashion cams go. Lower our camera angle down a bit. You can swap them over and they control this little cam arm here. And when we look down the bottom... What that does there is pulls the needle in different directions. Hello autofocus. Right down in the bottom there is the gear tooth and I can see it's busted there. That is buried deep in there. That's going to be a problem to get out. Uh, this is my collection of spare bits and I have a 3D printed gear. Bevel gear that might suffice. I uh, heat set that onto the original gear. Um, this was out of my machine. This was the, the bobbin drive gear that this uh, fell apart in that one. But, uh, oh, this might, <laughs> this might actually fit. Let's see if the, uh, the tooth profile is the same as the broken bit. Oh, I might actually have a gear that fits. It's even got a timing mark on it. Right, so now that we know we have an appropriate part to fix this, I'm going to put my good fabric scissors away before the apprentice finds them. Um, now that we know we've got the right gear, we're going to have to try and figure out how to get this out. Okay, the lack of lubrication in this thing is driving me nuts. So we're just going to put just a couple of drops of oil in some really pivotal parts here. <laughs> and already it feels different. Okay, so I dug up a service manual. And uh, this is the part that broke here. This is our vertical shaft that interfaces with this gear over here. Looking at this, I'm pretty sure if I can undo that, that whole shaft should probably just drop out. Uh, and if that's the case, I would expect that they would have designed something to do that. I'm looking for a way to get into that gear. And I noticed there's this little hole here that would probably correlate very nicely with the, uh, the grub screw on that. So I'm going to see if I can find a screwdriver to get in there. Okay, upon further inspection, um, that hole does not go all the way through. Okay, I'm having a look here. I've removed two of these little spring clips. These are, uh, you grab those two little lugs on the end with a pair of pliers to release them. And they're on the back of this front plate here on those um, standoffs, which means I can pull this out I haven't removed the knobs yet because I don't want to break them, but there's this little service plate here. I was hoping to get a bit of access to. It was obstructed by that. If I can open this, um, ah, there's a couple of screws behind there. If I can get to this, I can get clear access through to that gear. Now, I hope this camera angle works. Let me check here. Can we see? Sort of. Well, it is what it is, I guess. All right, as you can probably tell from that, this screw is tight, which is not surprising given it's responsible for the timing of the bobbin. Okay, so the value in taking your time to look, as I rotated this round and there is a second grub screw 
on the other side. I have not seen that before. Okay, that shaft that that gear is on is on the top of this one. And to even have half a, oh, it's gonna slide out nicely. Okay, I don't even need to take that belt off. That is probably just enough to get that gear out. That would be really shocking. <laughs> I think that's just come out. Let's have a look. That is, no, okay, I'm gonna have to take that belt off. All right, upside down, Miss Jane, upside down, upside down. We'll find it. I think sideways might be the best way here. I think I see it. I thought I saw it. I thought I saw a pretty tat. Alright, this is the old one which crumbled even further coming out. This is the one we're going to put in, which is not quite the same, but we should be able to sit it up the shaft enough to fit it. Hopefully the shaft diameter is the same. It may not be. Let's have a look over here. So no, that's not. Alright, definitely going to have to order another gear. Okay, before I start putting spare parts away, I'm going to uh, loosely reassemble the bits that we want to keep attention to. I've accounted for all the parts, put the lid on, and uh, we will stack the rest of these back in the shed and uh, go order some new bits.